Wait, we have another burnout van video? Wow, look at that. We got the plumber's crack van. Where's Nick? Where's Nick? Nick, I found you. What up? Nick, what are we doing? We are here to... I don't really know why we're here. We I mean, know. I know the van, but I don't know what we actually came here for. We are... Uh... Show up and show out. We're at the Cletus and Cars open and house deal. So we brought the van because we might put it on the dyno. I mean, we're hoping to. We it's want to. Cletus and Cars. No, it's not Cletus and Cars. It's just his open house. Yeah. So there's supposed to be a big car meet. And uh, what better the way to come? Yeah, this is going to be like the street car takeover pre-meet kind of deal. But it's a soft opening at the Freedom Factory. Um, but in our way in, we're going to just put this thing on the dyno just to do something. My car is not together. If it was, I would 100% be here with my car, but this is gonna be a, uh, a plumber's crack. You wanna see it? Oh yeah. No, I'm not showing Let's you. Let's go look at this. No, look at that. That's why we're here. We wanna put this thing on the dyno. Anyway, we're kind of pulling everything apart. We're gonna ride inside and uh, see what's going on. I can see Cletus's monster truck. I can see the Taco Bell Miata, but we'll see what's going on. A lot of cool stuff coming in.
So we're driving home now. It's uh, 11.26. Thankfully Nick's driving so I can sleep. So I would say it was pretty uh, pretty relaxed meet. Um, really wasn't too much like energy, but a lot of people just hanging out having a good time. Um, you know, we kind of hung out throughout the night. We were freezing our butt off because it's 43 degrees out. Nick didn't even bring a freaking jacket. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Shorts and a t-shirt. Like but I'm insulated. Man, I'm like a polar bear. He's like a polar bear. Um, so we did end up finally getting to dino the van. Last dino of the night, nice and loud. And uh, I would say the results were good. It made more power than I thought I would. 530 horsepower on a burnout van. So I would say that was a success. On a nothing special big block Chevy. Everything off the shelf, generic parts. Yeah, nothing. Nothing crazy on it, low compression, it's on alcohol, but other than that, a pretty basic setup. But alcohol is just to more or less keep the temperatures down during the burnout. Yeah. Not necessarily, he didn't care about it for the power gain, he just cared about it for the reliability and the cooling aspect. Yeah, they, so. we didn't even really, the dyno numbers didn't mean a whole lot to me, it was more to come down and kind of show the van off, obviously support the, uh, the Freedom Factory and be there for the first uh, opening meet. It was pretty cool being like at the first opening, first car meet they had. That was pretty cool. I am pretty jealous of Nick since my car is still not together. Uh, we got to bring this out at least, and this is something cool and, you know, different. So I'm excited to have my car back out. We can kind of do events like this together because I definitely think Cletus and Cars in April in uh, Bradenton, I will be bringing my car to. I don't necessarily know what I'll be doing with it. Um, I mean, hell, if the cooling system is working well i might do a burnout myself i don't know i will but at least i will drag race i mean 100 percent i'll make an eight second pass at cletus and cars so we're heading home now warming up in the process so appreciate you guys checking out another one of the videos uh interesting cool burnout video van or burnout van video but not necessarily doing a burnout this time but uh it was definitely a crowd pleaser and we did ask i wasn't allowed to do a burnout yeah we did crowd. ask but i mean there's a time and a place for it, and this wasn't the time or the place. Well, this was the place. It was the place. It wasn't the time. time. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, Nick and I, How can I do it? we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>